Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to crochet the Cottontail Slouch. This is a stylish hat crocheted in gray, a very simple hat shape, and I've added a ready-made faux fur pom-pom. So what you'll need for this project is a six and a half millimeter K crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and a ruler or a measuring tape. And you'll also need your yarn and your pom-pom. You can make your own pom-pom and in the informational section at the bottom of this video, I'm gonna put a link on how to make your own pom-pom if you'd like to do that. You can make one in the same color with the yarn leftovers or you can buy one of these. Um, I've been admiring these faux fur pom-poms for quite some time and um, I've been wanting to use one in a pattern. So you can find these at the craft store, the yarn shop, or online. And um, you'll also need your yarn. The yarn I used is Red Heart with Love and I used this, it comes in a pretty large skein and the yarn that I used to make this hat um, I had this much left, so you could easily make at least one more hat with this or a matching scarf or something like that. So to get started, we're going to make the bottom of the hat, then we will be adding the pom-pom at the end. The finished hat has a circumference of about 20 inches and a height of 10 inches. And then this particular pom-pom has a width of about three inches. However, you could put a very large pom-pom or a small pom-pom or no pom-pom at all. It's totally up to you. So let's get started. We're going to begin our hat by putting a slip knot on our hook. To make a slip knot, wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your crochet hook and bring up a loop. And then tighten onto your hook. Our hat has a starting chain of 54. So to make a chain, wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, and fifty-four. So here is our starting chain. We don't want it to be um, too tight. You want to make this fairly loose so your hat has some elasticity. And then in the chain farthest from your hook, you're going to insert the hook into that chain and then work a slip stitch. So wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through the loop. Bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. So you now have a circle and the bottom of your hat. So let's move on to the next round. To work the next round, row one of our pattern, round one, excuse me, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. This tail here, we can hold along the edge of our work and that will weave it in as we go along, okay? So what we're gonna do is just work a double crochet in each chain all the way around, okay? So to make a double crochet, Wrap yarn around hook, insert it into that first chain, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Again, we're holding our tail as we go. Okay, so just work a double crochet in each one of these chains all the way around our hat. Okay, so I'm gonna just keep doing this, working my double crochets all the way around, and we will rejoin towards the end of the round to finish it off. So we're coming up to the end of our round. I'm just working a double crochet in that last chain. So then we've arrived at where we began. So we're just going to work a slip stitch to close the round, okay? So it'll look something like this when you're finished. So then what we're gonna do for round two is if we look at our hat, it has a very slight ribbed um, 
edging here. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain three, but these, the next round, this round we're about to do is worked in front post double crochet stitches to give it that ribbed effect. So when we chain three, we're going to do it a little bit differently um, to make it blend. If we just did a chain three and worked around the front post double crochet, that chain three would stick out. So to make this chain three of the beginning of our round uh, not stand out and kind of blend with the rest of the round. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our hook underneath of the post, like when you work post stitches like we're going to be doing, and bring the yarn through behind that post, and then bring the loop through the loop that's already on your hook, and then you can chain three. One, two, three. And that's going to blend a little bit better than if we just did a chain three. Okay, so next we're going to work a front post double crochet in each one of these double crochets all the way around. Okay, so to work a front post double crochet stitch, wrap the yarn around the hook, again bring it behind that post, like that, and through. Wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through the way you came, back behind that. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring through the last two loops. Let's do that again. Wrap yarn around hook, go behind that post and through. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the way you came. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. So as you can see, we're getting some columns or some, some ribbing, if you will. Okay? So next, we're going to just keep doing that all the way around. Yarn around hook, bring it through the back of that post. Yarn around hook, bring it through. And then finish off the post as you would for a regular double crochet. So let's go ahead and do that all the way around. And then we'll rejoin towards the end of this round. So I'm just coming up to the end of round two. I'm just working that very last front post double crochet. Okay, so when you come up to the end, you're going to join to close the round with a slip stitch. So the bottom ribbed band area of your hat will be complete. So let's move on to round three. Round three is the rest of the hat. So we're going to work round three until we get to those very last two rounds, and then I'll show you how to do that part too. So let's begin round three. We're going to chain two, one, two. And then in the first stitch, we're going to work a half double crochet. To work a half double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert the hook into the stitch, and bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, and bring it through all three loops on your hook. Let's do that again. Wrap yarn around hook, insert the hook into the stitch, bring up a loop of three loops on your hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all three loops on the hook. So we're just gonna work a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around until we get to the end of the round, and then we'll rejoin right before we reach the end. Right, so we're coming up to the end of round three. I'm just working a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. When we come up to the end, we'll join with a slip stitch to close the round. So round three is complete. So to keep going, we're just going to be repeating round three over and over and over again until the height of your hat from where you started measures nine inches and then we'll move on to the top part of the hat. So I worked round three until my hat was about nine inches from the beginning. So I'm just gonna join this last round with a slip stitch, same as what we've been doing. So now my hat measures, again, nine inches from where we started. So we're just gonna do a slight decrease of the top just to give it a little bit of tapering and then we're going to actually seam the rest of it and draw it in 
before we put the pom-pom on. So there's just two rounds of our decrease. It'll just give it a slight tapering. So what we're gonna do is for the uh, first round of the decrease is chain one. And then we're going to work a single crochet two together all the way around. So to do that, you're going to insert your hook into the first stitch you come to and bring up a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch you come to and bring up a loop. Then wrap yarn around the hook and bring your hook through all three loops. And then we just went from two stitches to one stitch. So just do this all the way around. Insert your hook into the next stitch, bring up a loop. Insert your hip, uh, hook into the next stitch, bring up a loop. Three loops are on your hook, yarn around the hook, bring it through all three loops. Let's do that a few more times and then we'll rejoin at the end of the round. Insert your hook into the first stitch you come to, bring up a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch you come to, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through all three loops on your hook. So you can see things are already starting to come in a little bit, okay? Let's get some more yarn. We'll do this one more time, and then we'll rejoin at the end of the round. Insert your hook into the next stitch you come to, bring up a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch, bring up a loop. Three loops are on the hook. Yarn around the hook, bring it through all three loops. I'm gonna go ahead and complete this round, and we'll rejoin towards the end. So I went ahead and worked a single crochet two together in all the stitches all the way around this round. So now I'm just going to join with a slip stitch to close the round. Our second decrease round, also our last decrease round before we finish off the hat, we're just gonna do the same exact thing before we finish off, okay? So go ahead and chain one, and then we're just going to do the same thing. Single crochet together, all the way around, okay? So let's do the first couple of stitches together and then we will uh, rejoin at the end of the round once again. So insert your hook into the first stitch, bring up a loop, two loops on your hook, insert your hook into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops are on your hook, yarn around the hook, bring your hook through all three loops. Okay, we're at the end of round two of our decrease. We just worked two decrease rounds and I'm just fastening off with a slip stitch to close this round as well. So we're ready to seam up the top of our hat. And I just wanted to slide this over. We're gonna take our scissors and cut approximately 12 inch uh, tail off the end. Usually it's a little shorter when we do that, but we're gonna use this tail to also seam. So go ahead and fasten off, just like that. Let me get this hook out of the way and I'm gonna show you what our hat looks like. As you can see, it has a nice gradual taper that we were gonna be closing up next. So it gives it a kind of a smooth finish, okay? So what you're gonna do now is you have your tail and you're gonna turn your hat inside out. And you're gonna pull this tail through so you can get to it. Okay, so now your hat is inside out. Next, you're going to take a tapestry needle, and I'm just gonna give this another cut because it end came apart a little bit. Okay, so you're just gonna take your tapestry needle and just thread that. My yarn's splitting a little, but that's okay. Okay, so we're just gonna thread our tapestry needle, and then you're going to take the top of your hat and you're gonna sandwich these sides together with this tail all the way to the right, like this. So just line up those edges like that. Then we're going to do the whip stitch. All the whip stitch essentially is, is a, a spiral through your work, okay? So take your tapestry needle, and again, our, our fastened off end is here. We're just gonna run it through the top and the bottom of our sandwich, just like that. Okay, so go in one layer, top layer, bottom layer. Top layer and the bottom layer, all the way across. 
And because we did this decrease, it's not as wide as it was. It's just a short distance to get this hat seamed across. So we're coming up to the end. Make sure you get this, this hole here. Make sure you get that nice and tight. Okay, and then what I like to do is that last stitch that you work on your whip stitch, bring your whole, this loop up that you've created and just send your needle through. That will make an easy uh, way to make a knot in your work, okay? So you can put a little extra knot on there if you like, just to fasten that off. So you're going to have, I've already woven my bottom end in, but you'll have an end when you started your hat. And you'll also, unless you wove it in as you went along, you'll also have this tail at the top. So you're just gonna um, thread that and then just go in one direction with your tapestry needle to weave it in and then come back up in the other direction. And that will hopefully keep that end in place from popping out. So then you can take your scissors, go ahead and trim, and then turn your hat right side out just to check out your handiwork. Make sure your seam is the way you like it. So it has a nice kind of, almost like a pleated gather. It's a nice drape to it. This is a nice weight yarn for a hat also. Okay, so now we're ready to attach our pom-pom. Okay, so we're ready to attach our pom-pom to the top. Now I'm gonna show you how to attach a ready-made pom-pom. However, it's pretty much the same as if you made your own. You can make your own with the same color yarn. You can make one in white, like I did with some white yarn. And I also have a video on how to make a pom-pom. I like to make mine in my hand. I don't use any special tools. And what I'll do in this video, in the informational section in the bottom, is I'll put a link uh, for my other video on how to make a pom-pom. So you're gonna take your pom-pom, and if you make your pom-pom, you'll have two tails on the bottom. If you buy these um, faux fur pom-poms, a lot of times they have a loop in the bottom. So what I like to do is cut that loop so that I have two tails as well, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're going to thread your tapestry needle with one of the tails. And this is kind of like elastic material. If you have a different way you like to join these, feel free to do that. So come into the top of your hat and just a little off center, you're going to run the first tail in and then pull that um, off of your tapestry needle. Then, while it's still in your hat like that, thread the other tail from your pom-pom, and it's, because it's elastic, it's a little wide, so you'll need a, a needle with a large eye. And then, directly across from where you uh, ran the first tail, go across the center and to the other side, and then run that into there, just like that. Then you can take this off of your tapestry needle, and then turn your hat inside out for just a moment. So you have your two tails on the top here. So what you're gonna do is just take these. Now you'll do this exactly the same if you made your pom-pom or if you bought one. You'll have two tails, either yarn tails or these stretchy tails. And then just tie a few knots in your hat like this. Okay? And then you can go ahead and weave these ends in a little. Now this is kind of unusual because we normally weave yarn into yarn, but you can just, don't go too far down the hat because again, this is a different color. If you have the same color, it'll blend a little bit better. But just weave it in a little bit just to get them tucked in a little. And then you can take your scissors and go ahead and trim. Just like that. Then you can take the other uh, tail, just come in the other direction. This will just kind of keep them in place a little bit better. You could also just cut them flush um, 
to the interior of the hat as well. Okay, so go ahead and just trim those short and you can get these out of the way. Okay, so then you can turn your hat back around, kind of fluff it up a little, nice and fluffy. And then your hat is complete. And it's a very pretty hat, very elegant in the gray and the white. And these kind of faux fur pom-poms are um, pretty popular right now. And um, your hat will be ready to wear. So that is how you crochet the cottontail slouch. Thanks so much for watching. And be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.